Factor theorem states that x minus c is a factor of p of x if the remainder is 0. Or in converse, if uh, the remainder is 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. Kailangan nating maipakita na ang remainder ay 0 para masabi natin na ang divisor ay factor ng given na dividend. Example, is x plus 2 a factor of x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12? There are two ways to determine if x plus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial. Ang una dyan ay ang synthetic division o yung ikalawa ay by using the evaluating technique. Pero dito sa lesson na ito, ang gagabitin ko lamang ay ang synthetic division. So, i-divide natin ang x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12 by x plus 2. So, using synthetic division, i-arrange muna natin ang coefficients ng given polynomial in descending powers, in descending order of its powers. So, x cubed, x squared, x constant. So, the coefficient of x cubed is 1. Okay? Coefficient of x squared is 3. Coefficient of x is negative 4. And the, and the constant term is negative 12. Divided by x plus 2, so we have negative 2. And then, divide, bring down 1. 1 times negative 2 is equal to negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 is equal to 1. 1 times negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Negative 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 2 is equal to 12. Negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. So we have the remainder which is equal to 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, we can say that x plus 2 is really a factor of the given polynomial x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. For the second example, is x minus 3 a factor of 2x to the fourth minus 5x square minus 36x minus 4? So, para maipakita natin or para malaman natin kung ang x minus 3 ba ay factor ng given na polynomial, kailangan natin gumamit ng synthetic division. I-divide lang natin siya. So, we have the coefficient of x to the fourth is 2. And then, we have no x cubed term. So, lalagyan natin siya ng 0. And we have x square here. Coefficient of x square is negative 5. Okay, so coefficient of x is negative 36. And the constant term is negative 4. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng 0 rito sa pagitan ng 2 at negative 5 kasi wala tayong x cube na term. And then divided by negative 3 will become positive 3. Okay, and then bring down the leading coefficient 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. And then 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Negative 5 plus 18 is equal to 13. 13 times 3 is equal to 39. Negative 36 plus 39 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And negative 4 plus 9 is equal to 5. As you can see here, the remainder is equal to since the remainder is not equal to 0, therefore, x minus 3 is not a factor of 2x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 36x minus 4.